Today, we'll do a very important topic of quantitative reasoning, that is multiples and factors. What are multiples, what are factors, what is GCF and what is LCM and how they are calculated. Now factors are numbers that divide a certain number leaving no remainder. For example, 15. So if we have to divide 15, we can see 3 is a factor because 3 divides 15. But 6 doesn't divide 15. So if we try to divide 15 by 3, we get 5, which is an integer, which is a sign that 3 is a factor of 15. But if you try to divide 15 by 6, this is what, what we are left with, 2.5. It's not an integer, it means 15. Uh, it means 6 is not a factor of 15. Now there is a question which of the following shows the number of factors of 42. How many factors of 42 are there? Let's test. First of all, 1 is a factor of all numbers. And when we say 1, then the last number is also a factor of the number. So we can also test them. 1 into 42 gives you 42. So these two factors we have identified. Then we can test with the next one, that is 2. And on the other side also, we can say 2 times what? 21? Yes. So we again have two more factors. And we can test with 3. 3 times 14? Yes. So we have two more factors. Now, does 4 divide 42? No. 5 divide 42? No. 6? Yes. And how many times? Ten, 7 times. 6 times 7 is 42. That's all because after 6 we get 7. It means we have reached this column. So how many factors are there of 42? It is all these factors which we have listed here. There are 8 of them. So the answer is C. Similarly, now we can find out factor of something else. For example, 294. So as we did in the last one, 1 is a factor. So is 294. 2 is a factor, so is 147 because 2 times 147 is 294. Whether this number is divisible by 3 or not, 2 plus 9 plus 6 gives you 15 which is divisible by 3. It means this number is divisible by 3. This trick was tested in the divisibility rules that is in another video of ours. We can go through it and find out. We can easily see which numbers are divisible by what. So this number is divisible by 3, yes, 3 times 98 gives you 294. Is it, is it divisible by 4? No. 5? No. 6? Yes. Because of this 2 and 3. So uh, this number is divisible by 6, 6 times 49 gives you 294. Similarly, 8, uh, 7 also divides this. And then after 7, the number that divides 294, we can test is 14. 14 times 21 is 294. Now we shouldn't be testing 15 because 5 is not here in the list. So any multiple of 5 can't be there. So 15 is not there. Similarly, 8 is not there in the list. So 18, 16 can also be not there. And so on until we reach 21. And then we don't need to test anymore. So we have found out that they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 factors of 2, 9, 4. Then there's a concept of common factors. What are the common factors of some numbers? For example, if there are two numbers, 24 and 36, and we have to find out common factors. One way to find out common factors is to list the total factors of all the numbers under consideration. So these are the factors of 24. There are 8 factors, then these are the factors of 36, and what are common here? 1 is common, 2 is common in both of them, 3 is also a common factor, 4 is also a common factor, 6 is also a common factor, and 12 is also a common factor. So this is one way of finding out the factors. But the thing most used in calculations is the GCF or the greatest common factor. Now, if you have to find out greatest common factor between these two numbers, we can do the same thing. List the factors and find out what's the greatest common factor, that is 12. 
but that's not always the easiest way to find out so let's do some other trick this is one of the tricks make this table place numbers 24 and 36 and find out a number that divides both of them usually we start with 2 so we can see this 24 is divisible by 2 and this 36 is also divisible by 2 so 2 times 12 gives you 20, 24 2 times 18 gives you 36 now we'll test what is the number that divides both of them again again we can divide both of them by 2 like this 2 times 6 gives you 12 2 times 9 gives you 18 are these divisible by 2 anymore no they are divisible by 3 now so let's do it by 3 are these 2 and 3 divisible by any number now so what were the divisors what 2 2 and 3 so the greatest common factor is 2 times 2 times 3 which is 12 now coming to multiples what is a multiple multiple is the exact opposite of factors you know factors were limited in number so we can have five factors or something eight factors or something ten factors or something and so on but multiples are unlimited multiples start with the number so for example multiples of four four is a multiple of four then eight then twelve this is just a time table all these are multiples and they go up to infinity there's no limit similarly what are the factor multiples of six starting with six and they keep on increasing by an amount of six now the most common number that is used in calculations uh, in these things is the LCM least common multiple now what's the least common multiple if we look at the multiples 12 is a multiple of both of them common multiple 24 is a common multiple 36 is a common multiple and so on but what's the least one so 12 is the least common multiple this is one of the ways of finding out common multiples uh, and least common multiples LCM but there are better ways such as this so if you have to find out what's the common multiple least common multiple of 36 and 54 we'll place 36 and 54 here in the table and then divide it by a certain number what number can divide we normally start with 2 let's do it with 2 2 times 18 is 36 2 times 27 is 54 now can 2 divide both of these numbers now so then we can divide it by 3 yes 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 9 is 27 again they can be divided by 3 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 3 is 9 now there is no number which can divide all of them so whatever is the number all of them will be multiplied to give us the LCM see 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 3 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 3 gives you 108 that is the LCM of 36 and 54 okay 36 times how much 3 54 times 2 is 108 so it's a common multiple and it's the least now finding out the least common multiple among these three numbers 18 32 42 again we'll place them here we'll see they are divisible by 2 yes 2 times 9 is 18 2 times 16 is 32 2 times 21 is 42 are they divisible by 2 no but they are divisible by 3 two of them so we will divide them by 3 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 7 is 21 this 16 is not divisible by 3 so you'll just stay as it is now there is no number which can divide even two of them any two of them so we'll stop here and we'll multiply all of them that will give us our LCM that is 2 times 3 times 3 times 16 times 7 like we did in the previous one that is 2016 now if you want to find out what is 18 times how much is giving you 2016 it's easy see 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 3 is 18 so 18 times this which is 16 times 7 gives you 112 it means 18 times 112 
gives you 2016 or if you want to find out what is 32 times yes 16 times 2 is 32 so if we take it away and what's left 3 into 3 is 9 times 7 63 so 32 times 63 gives you 2016 in the same manner this is 6 times 7 is 42 so what is left 16 times 3 that is 48 so we know 42 times 48 is 2016 that's all for today hope you'll enjoy it and you can subscribe for more videos or you can visit our website to find out what do we offer thank you